Welcome to Reading with Miss Momo. I'm so glad that you could join me today. Today I have a delightful story about a tree. All of us have Christmas trees that we have remembered or that we love. And I have a tree that's exactly like the tree that I had in 1960s when I was growing up. It's a tinsel tree. And my tinsel tree is decorated with paper chains that my grandchildren did and a star that my grandchildren made. So sometimes, no matter what your tree is, you can make the ornaments and it makes it even more personal and more fun. Join me now as I read my book. The Littlest Christmas Tree by R.A. Herman, illustrated by Jacqueline Rogers. And this is about the littlest Christmas tree. It was December 20th, only five days until Christmas, and the littlest Christmas tree was at Christmas tree sta stand on the main street of town. And there's the main street of town with all the Christmas trees. Some of you might go into the woods to get your tree, or you might go to a Christmas tree farm, or a, a place where they sell them. Some of you order them on the line on Amazon. There were all different kinds of evergreen trees at the stand, spruce, firs, and pines. The trees were all different shapes and sizes, tall, thin, fat, and short, but the littlest tree was certainly the smallest. And there's the littlest tree. The littlest tree had a big wish. I wish that someone would take me home this Christmas and make me beautiful with all the decorations then everyone would gather around me to sing my favorite Christmas carol, Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, how lovely are thy branches. I can't wait to be a Christmas tree. And he is just thinking about them all singing, Oh Christmas tree, and him being all decorated. On that beautiful winter day when the sky was bright blue and there wasn't a cloud to be seen, Gabriel and Simone came to the Christmas tree with their mom and dad. Oh, I want this one, cried Gabrielle, running right up to the biggest fir tree. Simone said, Twee! See, said Gabrielle, Simone wants this one too. Oh, no, said mom, this one is too tall. We would need to put a hole in our ceiling to fit it on our house. When the littlest tree heard this, it thought maybe they would want me to be their Christmas tree. If the fur is too big, I could easily fit into their house. But the family looked at all the other trees without even glancing at the littlest tree. They studied and measured each one until they found the perfect tree. When you go to look for your tree, do y'all measure and study and find the perfect tree? That's what this family's doing. Early the next morning, there was still some frost on the trees, and old man and woman walked by the stand. The littlest tree stood up as tall as it could, shook out its needles, and tried to look its very best. As they looked at the littlest tree, the old man said, This one is small enough to carry us home to carry home ourselves. Isn't it sweet? said the old woman. But just then they noticed the biggest tree, standing up tall and said, What a beautiful tree. This tree must be older than you and me combined. At that, they asked the man to stand to carry it to their house. They thought that the little tree was sweet, but they wanted the big tree. The next day was freezing cold, and all the tree branches were blowing in the wind. Twin brothers came to the stand and their grandma and grandpa. Let's pick a tree quickly. It is freezing, said grandpa. Then we have to have some hot chocolate and warm up. They chose a tall, skinny tree and ran shivering to their car with it and drove away. They toast. Got the tall, skinny tree. Everybody wants a different tree. Nobody's choosing the tiny little tree. At the next day, people came to the stand to find their perfect Christmas tree. Many people looked at the littlest tree and said it was cute, but no one took it home. Finally, Christmas Eve arrived. The littlest tree thought, oh dear. Tomorrow's Christmas, and so I want to be a Christmas tree. If no one chooses me today, then my wish will never come true. The littlest tree opened its branches as wide as possible 
and try to be seen. There it is, trying to be seen. And it's Christmas Eve and everybody's out getting things done for Christmas. Very few people came to the stand that day. Most people were home baking cookies, wrapping presents, and decorating their Christmas trees. The littlest tree tried singing and to cheer itself up. Oh, the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. I'm not a pear tree. I'm not a Christmas tree yet either. Oh, the poor littlest tree was getting so sad. It didn't feel like it was enough. It felt like everybody was better than it. There was hardly any trees left and the sky was getting dark quickly. Soon the street lights came on. A few snowflakes began to fall and started to stick to the littlest tree branches. The littlest tree felt quite beautiful with the snowflakes decorating it. A little icicle formed from one of its branches and the littlest tree began to cry. It felt lonely. And there's the littlest tree all alone. Even though it has beautiful snowflakes and icicle, it still feels very lonely. The man was getting ready to close up his stand for the night. He wanted to get home to celebrate Christmas Eve with his family. He still had a lot of presents to wrap. As he was leaving, he glanced at the littlest tree. He picked it up and put it under his arm. Where is he taking me? The littlest tree wondered. And there's the man with the littlest tree. They walked for what seemed like forever and then suddenly stopped. The man carried the littlest tree inside where it was warm and smelled of yummy things. The littlest tree looked around and thought, oh, this must be a home. A little boy and a woman ran up to the man and kissed him. Merry Christmas, they cried, and the man handed the littlest tree to the boy. I thought this was the perfect tree for you, Nathan. You could put it in your room and have your very own Christmas tree. Nathan took the littlest tree into his bedroom and found the perfect place for it to stand. The littlest tree stood up as tall as it could. Nathan's mom and dad cooked popcorn and helped Nathan string the popcorn with cranberries to make garlands. They cut out snowflakes and stars from white paper, and then they made a big star from silver foil for the topmost branch. So they're making all of their things to go on the tree. That's a fun thing to do, string popcorn and cranberries and make snowflakes and stars. They strung tiny twinkling lights on the little tree and Nathan decorated with everything they had made. He even put presents under the tree. The littlest tree was so excited it felt 10 feet tall. Oh, what a perfect Christmas tree, said Nathan. They all gathered around the littlest Christmas tree and they sang, Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how lovely are thy branches. Don't you know that made the Christmas tree happy because that was his wish, his Christmas wish that he had kept believing. I'm now a Christmas tree, thought the littlest tree. And it was the loveliest and happiest Christmas tree in the whole world that, that Christmas when all his wishes came true. And there's the Christmas tree all decorated for Christmas. A lot of times we wish for things and we want things. And sometimes it does happen at Christmas and sometimes it doesn't. But we need to remember to never stop believing. We need to always keep believing. Never stop believing. And when you don't have what you want, learn to make it. My granddaughter made these lovely Christmas trees from toilet paper tubes and from paper towel tubes. And I have three Christmas trees and one is the smallest and I the tallest and the middle size. And they were made from something that we had at our house. And they told us in the book about making things from things you have at home, white paper, tin foil, popcorn, cranberries. So you can use what you have, be resourceful, and make things for your Christmas tree. Make your own little Christmas tree for your room with some paper, or maybe draw a Christmas tree. I hope that you have a wonderful Christmas and it doesn't matter what your Christmas tree is, you can always be happy and don't stop believing. Until we meet again, Merry Christmas 
smile and be happy. God bless.